I'm going to start with a video that is kind of generic blood vessel layers. There's three layers that are common to all blood vessels. Then we'll go into detail looking at the different types and compositions in each vessel type. So first, there are three layers that we're going to look at. These are called tunics. So tunics refer to layers. The outside one is going to be the tunica, what do you think? Something you could think of maybe externa, outside. This is made up of um, connective tissue, specifically collagen. So connective tissue, um, collagen fibers that make it kind of fibrous. So um, let's just draw this like that, right? There's our tunica externa. And all blood vessels um, other than capillaries are gonna have this, this type. Then we've got another layer called the tunica, what do you think is in the middle, media. Tunica media is in here. And this is somewhat variable, um, typical, so it's smooth muscle. The amount of that varies dramatically. Um, and the other part is elastic tissue. Again, that's variable. So the elastic arteries, for example, have a lot more elastic tissue. Okay. Last one is the inside layer. Blue. That's going to be called our tunica intima. You'll also see it called interna sometimes, which also um, is kind of the opposite of externa. Intima, it's intimate with the blood. So it's intimate, it, intimate, intimate, inside, um, close to the blood. So that is this last layer here. These layers don't look like they actually look, but it's, it's a way to draw them. This one is um, epithelium. This is also called this endothelium. Remember the endothelium, that's the inner layer of the heart, um, lines the chambers of the heart. This is the same structure, the same stuff. So your capillaries are the only ones that are just gonna have this. All they are is a single layer of epithelium. Here is a capillary. The other blood vessels, so are elastic arteries, muscular arteries, arterioles, veins, and venules are gonna have these three layers, but in very varying compositions, concentrations, amounts. Um, so that's where we're going next. We'll see those different compositions. Before that, I do wanna show you one picture that is a little bit more anatomically correct of these general blood vessels. Um, you'll see these in the lab as well. So on the top right there, there's histology. You can see the vein. What does it look like? It's floppier. Um, it has less purple stuff. So this purple stuff is elastic tissue. Wouldn't expect you to know that right now, but um, a lot rounder. It's actually related to the, the elastic tissue and muscle holding it firm. Um, this actually should look a little bit more like you could figure this out now. There is this tunica intima, um, mostly endothelium, and with capillaries, that's all there is. Actually, I'm gonna circle this one. That's what we're gonna call talk about it as um, this layer right here. So capillary would just be that layer. Same thing with the vein. Then we've got the media, smooth muscle, and elastic fibers. So that's right here and right here. You can already see there's some differences between the two. And then we've got that tunica externa, so outside, and that's our collagen fibers. So that is right here. And again, you can see some thickness differences across the two. Here's our capillary that really just has that layer of endothelial cells, basement membrane, like there's a little bit of areolar tissue that is stuck to the bottom of the epithelial layer. Um, so to clarify, endothelium is a type, a specific name for epithelium. Okay, let's do a learning check on these. Name the three tunics and one tissue type that composes each. Not going to go over it right now. And what we just did was to list the three tunics associated with most blood vessels. So all besides capillaries, which would just have the one. 
Um, and here they are, right? The, the answer to the learning check actually. So next we'll go into the details of the five types of vessels and the composition of each.